Thank you for joining me on my channel. This is Heather and I'm with Funky Thumb Crochet. I decided to do a video tutorial on ironing your cat butt coasters. So this is my first tutorial um, that I'm doing this and it's also my first voiceover. So bear with me, please. Um, so first of all, you're gonna need a towel and a hard surface, some parchment paper, and you are also going to need some fabric stiffener. Um, I can put this link in the description. I use the Hobby Lobby Quilter Starch. Um, and you're also going to want to turn your iron up on the cotton setting. That's usually as high as my iron will go. So, so one of the hottest settings. All right, so just make sure you're using cotton yarn and not acrylic. All right, so cats always tend to fold at the feet and the tail and the ears. So that's going to be where you're going to concentrate most of your spraying. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot, especially if you use the fabric stiffener from Joann's. Um, I like using that. It um, makes them very stiff if that's what you're looking for. Um, but like I said, the Hobby Lobby one, it makes it lay flat, but also has a lot of play in it still so I like it I kind of got a little carried away on the feet there you can tell it's pretty dark but that doesn't really matter because um, it dries pretty well and it doesn't flake so it's gonna be just fine all right so the parchment paper is for the barrier between your cat and the iron so just flatten it out as good as you can get it I always start with the cat um, right side up and I've also noticed that you can lay your iron on there and it's not going to hurt. 15, 20 seconds should be fine. Any longer than that, you might be pushing it a little. So just always try to be careful. And then you're just going to want to press firmly. I like that the paper's transparent and I can always see, make sure nothing's folding up on me. Yeah, it's still a little damp there, so I was like, oh, okay, just a little bit longer. And I just think it gives it such a cleaner look. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer. It's just an extra step in the process, but when I make things for people, I and my name's attached to it, I really just want it to be the best it can be. All right, and then you're going to flip it, and you're going to repeat. Usually, I don't have to spray as much the second time. But you just target those same areas, the tail, the tip of it, sort of there at the little base, the ears and the feet. And then you'll just run it over the top of it again a few times, a couple of passes. When you have a whole stack of cats to do, it just becomes a little tedious. So if you have one of those presses, um, I have had people tell me that those work great with these. So go for it. I don't have the space for those yet, but I'm definitely going to be looking into it. And then I will just lay it wrong side up and allow them to dry even further. And then package them and send them off. So hit the like and subscribe button for more. Um, I've got new videos coming soon. So if you want to get them, you got to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.